let's make sure we're coming in live. Hi everyone, this is Chicho. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another live stream. Today, today is May 9th, 2022. And we're doing a soft spoken whisper readings of trip reports found on earwith.org. That's earwith.org. Dot org and I'll provide the links in the description of this video and I'm gonna grab the link right now and put it in the chat so people know where we're at and that's the main site for Eerowit okay I thought it was important uh, to do this because uh, entheogens psychedelics have been a main one of the main topics of discussion for our live streams and something that I've talked a fair bit about in the past I think they're important uh, for multiple reasons uh, one of the one of them being that as Robert Anton Wilson would say we are coming out of the dark ages just adjusting the camera here a little bit we are coming out of the dark ages right uh, and prohibition on entheogens plants centralized control of human thought is ending so i think it's important uh, to open up the dialogue more elder god how are you doing monday evening chicho time awesome awesome for me it's monday morning chicho time <laughs> oh fun oh fun um and if you've been following this work you know we've done a fair bit of uh entheogen discussion I think one or two videos have been loaded on sensor tube okay ie YouTube but they've all been loaded on bitchute rumble and Odyssey X how are you doing long time long time I hope you're doing well welcome back welcome back fun times I hope you're staying uh, staying safe interesting times interesting times especially your neck of the woods. So we've done a fair bit of uh, these discussions. Uh, I think the top three videos or three of the four, three of the five top videos we have on BitChute, uh, they're entheogen discussions. Uh, so uh, there is a lot of interest there, uh, as there should be. Uh, the videos on sensor tube I don't think whatever we have up there I don't think they get too many views because shadow banning and sensor tube uh, doesn't permit such discussions TJ Carlos seven how are you doing good afternoon good afternoon lonely piggy how are you doing hope you're doing well lonely piggy my my, my snacks some uh, soaked walnuts okay so soak these in water and i put them in the fridge okay and i just keep them there in a fair bit at a time actually and it makes it easier on the tummy and soak walnuts chocolate chips these are cooking chocolate chip ash yep how are you doing you got a flat tire no no i've had to deal with flat tires a little bit in the past together is fantastic really so good so good so good okay Is it dairy free these chocolate chips? Mm -hmm. No, Elder God. We do have some that are dairy free, but these ones aren't. Lonely Piggy says walnuts are always great. I'm still on my apple phase recently. I'm up to about four apples a day. I can't stop. Also, walnuts and apples go really good together. Apples and chocolate chips go really good together. And I don't think I've done it. I might have done it, but apples, walnuts, and chocolate chips together would be amazing. 
right? Again, uh, the odds are we will not be loading this full live stream to sensor two. Sorry, the sensors don't permit it. When we load such stuff on sensor two, we just lose subscribers up the yin yang, <laughs> like really. So uh, basically, sensor two is telling us not to load these types of real life discussions that deal with substantial information on to sensor tube uh, so if you're watching this little short segment on sensor tube the full live stream will be available on bitshoot rumble and odyssey and the links will be in the description of this video Ashnia, yeah. ever tried extremely spicy walnuts spicy walnuts no i used to prank my co-worker <laughs> that's not that's not cool <laughs> actually it's okay it's funny but as long as they don't have an ulcer if they have an ulcer you give them spicy stuff uh, they might not have a good time and you might not have a good time either apples go with so many things it's crazy it's crazy so good tj carlo me with bananas right now laugh out loud i freeze three of them sliced up the uh the evening before and used them as toppings for oats and peanut butter for breakfast nice delicious delicious i had some steel cut oats this morning with apples and some fruits bad lieutenant how are you doing long time long time yo chicho just a couple to wake them up <laughs> people who have ulcers you can't give them spicy food okay it, it could hurt them be careful okay and in my youth i would have done in my old older age uh i'm a little bit more cautious with people's health zah zah vip Zahavip, Zahavip. Hey, Chicho and Chad. Hello, hello. Welcome to our live stream. Thank you very much for the follow. Flippy, Flippy. I didn't catch the last part of it. I ate a lot of dry bananas. So good, so good. Good morning, gang. If you want to know what this work is about, I'm on Patreon. Patreon.com forward slash Chicho, C-H-Y-C-H-O. For those of you that are supporting this work on Patreon, gang, thank you very much for the support. It is in large part because of your support that we're getting uh having the opportunity to do this as well as the support that we're getting on twitch so gang thank you for being here thank you for your support thank you for the follows thank you for the subs mods thank you for taking care of business flippy stream thank you very much for the follow and honk honk clowny haha how are you doing gang we do have a sub stack page as well and a subscribe star page you can follow the work there as well everything's that's being loaded on patreon is being mirrored on those two platforms but there's more content going on substack now because i'm transferring some of the information some of the articles some of the other stuff that we have had done over the last 15 years online if not more no more 17 years online to substack because the censored platforms technocratic platforms uh, are deleting information okay uh ashnap chicho is there a term for thinking positively but opposite tends to happen <laughs> i could think of some bad words dang uh, thinking positively and having the opposite happen shit is the fan i guess linking bit big nuts <laughs> thank you for the follow Twitch gang, how are you doing? Mean clear bams. And gang, do not forget free Assange, free Assange, free Assange. Julian Assange is publisher in journals that has been crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capital as power to humanity. For more information, see wikileaks.org, defend.wikileaks.org, or our Julian Assange and Wikileaks playlist on Sensor 2. The Eddie G, how are you doing? It's been a bit since I've caught a Chicho live stream. Hope all has been well for you and yours, brother. Uh, you as well, Eddie G. And thank you for dropping by. Oh, yeah, the, the social, I forgot to do it. I'll do it. I'm so far behind on things, Elder God. A lot of things going on. And Cheryl, welcome, welcome to our live stream. Gang we will and we do announce these live streams on minds vk gap parlor getter and bitcloud third about 30 minutes 30 30 to 45 minutes an hour before we go live uh 
on Twitch. Okay, so you can follow the work there. Sometimes I do share additional information there as well. Teacher Carlo, what is the latest on Assange? Heard that he might get sent back to the US soon. Now, he might get sent to the US. It's not back to the US. As far as I know, Assange has never been to the US. That's the whole absurdity of the whole thing. He's not a US citizen. He hasn't been to the US. And basically, these neocons that have committed tremendous amount of war crimes are reaching across the Atlantic and forcing a puppet regime in the UK to hand over a journalist for uh, as a political prisoner to torture him further uh, and yes he's closer to being extradited to the United States mission creep hey Chicho I want to ask is investing uh, investigative journalism dead for fear of persecution that is one of the reasons that they are persecuting Julian Assange uh, is it dead no not dead but it has taken a brutal hit and the reason it has taken a brutal hit is because of all the all the other corporate propagandists some people who are still confused as to what a propagandist is and what a journalist is still refer to these cnn bbc cbs guardian foreign Pol all of the corporate propagandists in the western world mainstream okay investigative journalism has taken a hit thanks in large part because of their compliance okay because they have been bought and paid for a thousand times over some of the people that are in our society we should hold most accountable for the state of the world and where we are headed okay kid you not if this continues we are headed down a very very dark path are these talking heads on cable tv or corporate propaganda sites that are streaming and these so-called writers which are again stenographers of the centralized power who have brought the state of the world to the brink to the brink uh, okay once it's all said and done we need to hold them accountable for their crimes against humanity my personal opinion padre 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 yo chicho what's good in the hood <laughs> walnuts soaked walnuts and chocolate chip cookies Cho not cookies but chocolate chips bad lieutenant just a little aside what do you think of uh, rationalism i look into it a little bit but it seems to be mostly anti-religion um rash i don't know what rationalism stands for um i haven't looked into i would you would have to give me a definition of what the ideology the dogma the theory the philosophy is um i'm bad with names tj carlo oh okay my mistake i get him and snowden mixed up so yeah yeah snowden's safe in russia crazy yeah mission creep do you ever think we'll will ever get a major whistleblower uh like snowden or assange we saw how the u.s systematically destroyed assange yeah yeah we're gonna get more we're gonna get more this is the last what we're seeing in the world right now gang is the last last fight that these psychopaths that have obtain control of our societies have this is their last battle okay and it could be our last battle but this is really the final battle for the future of humanity uh, we should pay attention and we should make sure we're on the right side and we're not apathetic uh, we not stand on the sidelines and let the chips fall where they may because uh, humanity is against a powerful force right now and one of the things that we have to be able to uh, break free of is the hypnosis that centralized power has put on society which really connects up to entheogens right 
entheogens, okay, are a powerful, powerful uh, ally in freeing humanity from the grasp of centralized power. And we should, we should make sure that uh, we're uh, privy to that information, right? And gang, I'm going to finish off my little intro uh, because we can't load this onto sensor tube. I, I don't even know if we're allowed to talk about what we've talked about so far on sensor tube anymore. Really, you should see the stats. Whenever there's something going on, all of a sudden, boom, 50 subscribers gone. Uh, it's weird. It's weird. Gang, we will upload the audio of this live stream to soundcloud.com forward slash chicho, C-H-Y, C-H-O, as a podcast. And this podcast should be available in your favorite podcasting platform, including Spotify, iTunes, and Google Play. And if you want to participate in discussions on a forum that we're active on, Gilded is where you want to be at. We used to be on Discord. I'm not really active on Discord anymore other than announcing uploads and live stream schedules and stuff. I'm not sharing any additional links on Discord because they are full censored platform now. But so far, Gilded, we can talk about anything we want. And that is what human beings do. Okay. Aside from that, if you're on watching this 15 minutes now, introduction on SensorTube, Link to the full live stream will be in the description of this video to Pichute, Rumble, and Odyssey. I'm going to take these guys down.